Hey guys, in this video, I want to do a quick little side-by-side -side speed and camera comparison between the Note 5 versus uh, the Nexus 6B here. So, uh, one of the best phones of 2015. Let's go ahead and first boot them up. So, both have the top-notch specs here. Qualcomm Snapdragon 810, 3 gigs of RAM versus Exynos 7 Octa Core plus 4 gigs of RAM. And, uh, and you can see here Note 5 very fast. And obviously, if we go here into the settings, uh, it is running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. That's the Android version we have. And of course, it's the Nexus phone, so we get the latest version of Android on it. So, just gonna see here. It's taking a lot of time here on the 6B. Okay, so I'm just gonna enter my password. I mean, 6B always takes some time to boot up. But let's see here if we can check out some applications there, side-by-side, -side, apps opening test, phone dialer. Okay. Let's see here. Let's try out Viber. Okay, here we go. Very, very equal. Oops. Let's go back and launch Temple Run. I think we have Adreno 530 GPU inside of uh, the Nexus 6B. And here we have a Mali GPU. So, I think Note 5. Yes, yes it is. Slightly faster. Um, then we have, let's see here. Yes, I think it's close. I'm just gonna launch it again so that we can test out the multitasking performance later. I'm just gonna pause the game. Let's go back and launch Subway Surfer. Okay, here we go. It's another game here. Um, I think when it comes to opening up games, Note 5. Uh, performs a little bit better but you can see here that both of them were actually almost equal there um, let's see here what else we have uh, calculator versus calculator we go pretty equal and obviously we get less bloatware on the uh, on the Nexus 6B as compared to the Note 5 so Geekbench 3 Pretty damn equal. Um, Twitter. Here you can see here Note 5 slightly faster. Okay, let's go back and open up camera. There we go. And again, you can see here Note 5 slightly faster. So yeah, Exynos 7 Octa-Core performing uh, a little bit better uh, as compared to the Snapdragon 810 inside of the Nexus 6B. So I'm just going to quickly uh, do a side-by-side -side browser performing test and we will look uh, at the multitasking also. So I'm going to be using Google Chrome browser on both phones. So first of all, I'm just going to go into settings and clear out all the... Uh, browsing data so that we have um, equal test here and no website data stored pre cache whatever so it's cleared up let's go back and launch goal.com it's a nice website uh, football news related website let's go here Okay, so you can see here. Hmm. Almost very equal, but it seems like the Nexus 6B actually loaded the the full desktop version. So let's go.
go ahead and launch any other website. Uh, let's see here, for biz.com. Oops. And same thing here, for biz.com. There we go. And let's see here. This website all, always takes some time. I've noticed that. Hmm. Or maybe there's some kind of problem with this website. Okay, so let's just <laughs> load any other website, WWE.com. I mean, there are a lot, lots of websites to open up, WWE.com. And you can see here, wow, almost the same. Nexus 6P was the first one to come, but they loaded up, finished up. Uh, equally uh, Note 5 is actually finished but you can see here there's a blue bar on the 6P which means that it's still loading uh, the content and on the next on the Note 5 it's it's not there so it means Note 5 is actually faster here um, let's see here phone arena.com same thing here phone arena.com there we go Wow, that was damn equal. Let's go ahead and launch um, one last website. It's going to be deckradar.com. Oops, deckradar.com. Uh, okay, here we go. And you can see here again very 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 equal let's see here the multitasking performance obviously like i said uh we have four gigs of ram on the note 5 so we might see slightly better performance um on this one i mean it has on paper of course but let's see here how good it is in the actual testing here so first off we have the phone app loaded up nicely then we have Twitter, pretty good. Hmm. Geekbench 3, Subway Surfer. What the hell? Oh, you can see here Node 5 is refreshing. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It has 4 gigs of RAM. And this one has 3 gigs of RAM, but you can still see here that Nexus 6P is outperforming Node 5 when it comes to multitasking. Um, I opened up, opened up another game, uh, Temple Run, let's see here. Whoa! Again, you can see here Node 5 actually refresh both of the games that we opened up. I mean, it's uh, the apps are opened up nicely, no problem, but you can see here uh, games both of these two games were refreshed by the note 5 so definitely I think Nexus 6P is the real uh, king of multitasking here wow that was pretty pretty impressive by the Nexus 6P so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the camera now obviously uh, if you guys uh, are into technology uh, mobile technology you know that the note 5 has the best uh, camera overall uh, from the Samsung uh, currently and uh, and uh, and Nexus 6 is also not that bad so it has 12.3 megapixel uh, sensor with the uh, laser autofocus uh, but we don't really get optical image stabilization which is the most um, the major drawback of its camera you know you get a lot of shaky in essence when you're recording video uh, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you a 4k footage uh, while the 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 Note 5 has a 16 megapixel sensor here with LED flash, gets the optical image stabilization, has a dedicated video stabilization option in the settings. Uh, on the front we have a 5 megapixel on the Note 5 versus the 8 megapixel sensor on the 6P. So personally I do like the selfies more from the Nexus 6P and uh, overall if you talk about the, the camera sample pictures 
uh, side by side so I think definitely both phones have a nice quality um, and Nexus 6B uh, takes some time to process HDR but overall I think both phones are great uh, you know they are perfect for uh, capturing photos outdoors and uh, of course uh, a very nice quality indoors and uh, talking about indoors I think Nexus 6B is slightly better uh, when it comes to low light situations uh, because of its uh, because of the phone uh, because of the bigger sensor it has um, so definitely uh, but overall both phones are pretty damn good Thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, give this video a thumbs up and comment below what you think about uh, the uh, quality overall, uh, camera quality overall on uh, both of these two phones here. Comment below. And uh, for daily tech videos, please subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.